closely. I'm going to teach you one of the most powerful, easy to do card tricks that will take you five minutes to learn. But first, let me perform it for you. Firstly, I'll begin by shuffling the cards. The reason why we shuffle the cards is to show you that as I remove these cards that the order is in no particular order. Does that even make sense? That the suit is in no particular order. So, what we have now is this order of chaos. And what I'm going to attempt to do is to solve the order to restore it from this through to king. To make it harder, I won't even look. I will not even look at the cards. I'll do it as fast as I can. So this will be like solving a Rubik's Cube, but with cards. This will require just some mathematical algorithms, a bit of pattern work, and some memorization. Okay, and done. Three. Just like that, every card is now in numerical order. So, how did I do that? Well, first of all, thank you so much for coming on down. Tonight, we have some insane card magic to teach you and to perform some slide of hand to teach you as well. But before we do that, it's time to announce the giveaway. Yay! So, tonight we're giving away five decks. And at the end of the video, we'll be announcing the winner of the previous giveaway. So, if you're wanting to get into card magic, if you're wanting to do basic, extremely effective card magic to fool your friends at school, to fool your family, friends and relatives do just be awesome. I mean, card magic is so fun and it connects people. Or if you just want to have a deck of cards to play with friends, uh, these are some of the most high quality, prestigious decks you can get that I'm giving away to you guys. All you have to do to enter is just comment. That's it. You just have to comment, nothing else. You don't need to subscribe or like, although I would really appreciate it if you could like this video. These giveaways are not easy to do and they're financially uh they take their toll so by liking the video it just shows me that you guys really want these um and i love doing this for you this is just a small token of appreciation for all that you guys do for me so please thumbs up this video and comment you have nothing to lose just comment um if you're the winner i'll message you via youtube personal messages and um, send you a deck from here to you, straight to your door. So we're giving away a blue deck of bikes, a red deck, which is this very deck, another red, another blue, and the prestigious special winner will receive this fantastic deck. This is my favorite deck of all time. Of course, they'll be receiving a unopened sealed version. These are the Dan and Dave Smoke and Mirror uh, decks. In 
this case, we're giving away the white one. Just great for flourishes and for other incredible card magic. of being one of five winners all you have to do is comment down below nothing else just comment and you will go into the chance of winning one of these five decks but with that said i can see you commenting down there already good on you so let's get into the tutorial to perform this incredible I just gotta say, this is one of my all-time favorite tricks. It's so easy to do, and the only thing it requires is a bit of memorization. Because, unfortunately, this is in a stacked order. So, but I'm gonna make it very easy for you to learn. Memorize this order. Queen, Jack. Very easy. They're right next to each other. Easy. Two, six. Okay. Ace, five, king. So, Queen, Jack. Two, six. Ace, five, king. And that may look a bit daunting, but there's literally just five cards. This is so easy. Then it gets easier. Ten, nine. Next to each other. Seven, eight. So you're only really memorizing when you look at it this. So again, Queen, Jack, two, six, ace, five, king, ten, nine, four, three, seven, eight. How easy is that? So have the stack and place it. spectator and give the cards a riffle shuffle. You may not be able to do this one, but that's okay. You can just do it on the table. Now, this actually doesn't disrupt anything. You can give the cards, I'd say, to be safe, two riffle shuffles, but make sure you don't have any of the cards in this pile. Two shuffles is just right. does is it just puts cards in between your suit. It doesn't disrupt the order. That's unless you do too big of a shuffle. Two riffle shuffles are perfect. So then to say you're going to remove all of the diamonds or whatever suit of your preference. And you'll notice that as I do this, they are still in order. So long as you riffle shuffle appropriately and do it twice only. Three, seven, eight. And this is just really solidifies that the cards are in no apparent order when in fact this is the stack that you've memorized. I'll have it in the comments below. So how do we go from this case? to a sticking. It's so, so easy. You just do what I did in the performance. Literally, I'll go through it. Take the stack, and if you do these exact moves, you will do the trick. So, phase one. Take, strip off one card from the top, and two cards from the top. Do the same thing now, but with three cards. Two, three. And then four cards. How easy is that? So two, three, four. Phase two. 
take three cards from the top, put them down, take two cards, put them down, three cards, put them down, two cards, put them down, three cards, put them down. So three, two, three, so easy. Face three. Take every second card and just out jog it. How easy is that? Swivel this packet out and place it on top. Last phase. Deal one card, burn, deal. Just do that ritually, and that's the trick. If you do exactly as I said, you've just reorganized the whole suit. Pretty cool, huh? This gets insane reactions. So go ahead and make sure you deliver the performance value of this. Pump it up, yeah. And that's the trick. Have a lot of fun with that one. So, next up, we're going to be uh, teaching you a flourish. Now, this is going to look pretty hard to do on paper, but in practice, it's so easy. Here's what it looks like. It's like that. You're just taking a card and flipping it on the top of the deck. Looks visually stunning. And this is really cool. You can in integrate it with your uh, card tricks. So, how is this awesome snappy trick done? Take the top card you're wanting to do is have your pinky ring and middle finger on this long border. Hmm. Have your index finger curled up just a bit so you can push it against the card. But last of all, have your thumb just the first joint on this side. So, how do we get the card to flick? Well, it's all in the thumb. Apply a bit of pressure till you bow the card just slightly, not too much. And then simply just let go of your thumb and naturally the card will just flip this way. If you flip it back enough, the card will naturally flip. It might be a bit uncomfortable, but it's so easy to do. So you can imagine if you do it faster with more pressure, it'll fling even further. See, my hand's not even here, yet I can control it for it to go to the deck and still land. That's how you basically do it. Um, I'm right-handed, so let me try and use it with my left hand. Even still, it feels uncomfortable, as it would if you've never done this, but over time, and just with applying the right technique, I'm still, even now, able to be able to do it. Just like that. And that's the, it's called Instant Replay. Here we go. This one is called Reversal. So go ahead and get your spectator to select any card in the deck. Let's say they choose. Uh, actually, 
Let me uh, go. So next up, we have a card trick. And we're going to teach you how this is done. This is a very effective, super easy to do card trick, which, if performed right, can get such a nice effect. So go up to your specs and say, go ahead and select the card. Let's say they pick this one right here. The Jack of Spades. All we're simply going to do with the jack is take it and get your spectator to just slot it in, maybe in the middle somewhere. You can really see that that's the jack going in to the middle. As fair as that. But here's the thing. You're going to take the cards and say, watch. I'm going to find the jack going to reveal itself to us, just like this. I'll make all the cards flip except one. Just like that. All the cards now go face up except you the very easy way to do this trick. Start off though with one card on the bottom of the deck, face down. Go up to your spectator, get them to select a card without obviously flashing this jack or the bottom card. They choose a card and here's where you do the dirty work. As you give them their card, it's when they look at their card to memorize it that you do this. You just flip the deck. And you don't make this a big action, just flip it around. And then, now what you've done is presented it like the deck's normal, when in reality, every card's face up except the top. So make sure you don't flash anything, hold onto the cards just a bit tighter. Get them to take the card and they can just slide it in somewhere in the middle. Get them to just push it in. And that's like that. So the way I did this reveal was a more visual way with the Erdenes change, which looks like that. But what you can do is say, okay, Take the cards behind my back, you put the cards behind your back and say, I'm going to find your card without even looking. Put the cards behind your back, take the top card and put it back the way it was. Flip the deck back and come back and reveal. That's the easy way to do it, which looks, which still gets a great reaction because you're doing the impossible. You're not even looking at the card. So take the cards behind your back, flip it, turn it around, come back and there it is, the card. Either that, or you can do an Erdenace change. Anyway, so, enjoy those tricks. Best of luck to everyone. Um, let's quickly announce the winners of the previous giveaway. We were giving away a blue, red, red, blue, and the Archangels deck. So, announcing the winners of the giveaway. Congratulations to John K. for winning the Archangels deck. Congratulations to Sergey KH for winning the red, oh sorry, the blue deck. Congratulations to Talia Neely who won the red deck. Congratulations to, to Log J.